Get him to Sam Nove. Sam, what's the reading? Ryder's implant is overloaded. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it. There. Welcome back, Scott. What happened? A lot, apparently. You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. <sighs> ah. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his. And he chose you. I'm sorry, Scott. I know this must be a blow. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. Well, he definitely did that. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you, in a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Korra? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Scott. You can't be serious. What's the matter? I think you're up for it. That's easy enough to say. But going out there and doing it? I barely survived that last mission. Hell, technically I didn't. But you're alive and kicking now. You're not a quitter, that's for sure. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is no the pressure. Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. That's... A bit of your dad in both of you. Your, your father, father will be missed. He's dead. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. He never mentioned anything about that. It allowed me to know him better. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Not creepy at all.
trying to mimic, I guess. Good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. It's like a husk of a citadel. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. So wait, they were already out there? All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. <laughs> All on you now. Have fun. You gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just Pathfinder take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? Got it. I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Captain wants to see a full duty roster. Right. I just updated the Always charts. keep a jump jet handy. Okay, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know the docking procedure. All stasis personnel report to duty station. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. Yeah, just bar You're expecting general. one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. Yeah, buddy. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Or is it? Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? The front of Vina here. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, my code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Yeah, Not from the looks of it. <laughs> 
What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. They're hot. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making <laughs> such a long journey. And, and we don't have Once to do the bullet holes in us. Our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists <laughs> like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. <laughs> Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. <sighs> and welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Hey. Current wait time for immigration processing is unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Okay. Let's... Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here! You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Do you want to fill us in? I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Scott Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... you're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. Oh, great. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid.
the crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking, looking at, at him. At him. <laughs> You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> You're in trouble here. I'd say you need any help you can get. We need qualified help. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. What else are you gonna do? We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Sounds like everything's a complete disaster. Handling something big, is she? I'll just organize this as it comes in. Hello, and console. You and I are you going to be very good friends. Anyway. Thank we'll you. get you all fixed up and ready to go in no time. As soon as we hook you up to all that juicy, juicy power. This is Nexus Control to Hyperion. No, it it's good to have you here. But what choice do we have? How Excellent. the hell should Let's I go over the docking checklist, Spender, shall we? you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. You're nice. Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life. Not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? 
At least I, I trust him to defend us. I do not now. trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ah, oh, goddamn poetry. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. <laughs> Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder. We're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Sons of the Father, huh? How did I open a console? Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Gia. initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Okay. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. You are Scott Ryder, salary code 19B, active Pathfinder. Why? Your supervisor is Director oh. Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Oh, Seriously? Man. Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. 
Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Yeah, about that. Viable planets, capable of supporting life, are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. Everything's great. That's a lot. I only have a hundred credits though, so we're not gonna do anything. This is all kind of clunky. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Eh, maybe maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. Maybe he did. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him, please. Sure. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Aww. So sweet. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I want to know about the cat. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was oh. proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. Excuse me. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. 
We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Okay. So... Strike teams can be sent. They'll give experience. Apex, okay, so let's a mission and press space to send Apex. You'll be saved. Oh, so this is the multiplayer. Okay. Loot box, really? That kind of sucks. So, wait. Oh, so you can assign a strike team if you want to. Well, we already sent one out, so... Okay. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Hopefully I'll figure that out later. Based on status support, it seems we're allowed to get your foothold in any sector without decent recon. Oh, it's just everything sucks. Okay. That, the animations are so weird. Pathfinder, no time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Running on our that? ship. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. This wasn't in the job description. We have to find a world, then save it. Glad it's not just me feeling it. But it's not just you either. We're a team, right? It's what they need us to be. Yeah, it's like the... I mean, the animations are like both 
good and weird. Oh, what's this? Mutiny aboard the Nexus in your absence. I was hoping the militia could step in. Me and my peak will focus to <laughs> not taking inventory. The exiles. Sloan made her allegiance is clear. Sloan Kelly is not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. We'll sponsor. Find out where they went. Whoops. Trails cold. Okay. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Not exactly security footage, it's emails. Please await further instructions. Okay. It's like the saddest version of the Citadel ever. Anything in here? No, nope. lock door. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Right then, we'll be in. Try firing off sets 23B to 54C in the third quadrant. Did that work? <laughs> That's Kesha's office. First murderer, speak with the prison guard. Oh, so I need to go back down there. That's Tan's office. Let's go ahead and side quest it. Let's see what this supposed murderer Draft did. Technicians, please report to the Hyperion coupling annex. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkun, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. It's like they smoothed it over and didn't... They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. But why don't you tell me what happened? Did you do it? <laughs> I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Yeah, no, so when died. he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement. Thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. The witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Oh, there's so kinds of... No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> and you assume he's lying what's a lie to a murderer uh, look knock yourself great. out a key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations go ahead and talk to her 
And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you queue it up on the console. Okay, so that's the As far as I'm concerned, control. this case is closed. Bye, Kendros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. You and me both, Pathfinder. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. Or, I guess not. Oh, it was... Ah. Where's... Am I in the right spot? No! The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Well, that's, um... Yeah, that's not good. Not good there, buddy. You said there was somebody else here in operations. Maybe up here? Excellent. I'll let Addison know. She'll be pleased. Yep, uh so witness Shaw, Addison's office. Okay, that is really annoying. Alright, that console's annoying too. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yeah. Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Really? That's that's a bad line. I think this hairstyle is a good example of what is weird. Because it's like super super smooth here and then they try to give it texture everything's like there's high definition in some parts and then it's like rushed the proportions look weird I don't know I can't really put my finger on it did Nilkin seem remorseful I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil when we found him he seemed in shock he couldn't speak he looked nauseated could have been guilt the reality of the act sinking in Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. So... he saved your ass. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. So I'm gonna have to go back and get the body, aren't I? Oh boy. Go to the other 
side. Yeah, this looks weird too. Like the. That's <laughs> how people run. Can't see it because shit for day. <laughs> the Nexus is a four ring circus. Don't like how Tain operates, and it's the same for Krogan. It's obvious. I believe his intentions are to be good, but he's an opportunity. It's just likely to create dissent. Don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. It's already polarizing Addison. She's taking the key to circle the wagons. I think I could talk to Kedros about this. Let's try it. Two of us were coordinated, maybe not. I hate that kind of drama, too. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Oh, I'm glad we can give you some juice. Oh! We can talk, talk about the genophage. When huh? we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survived. So do you know it got cured? What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. Oh. But my clan was starting to show mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%. Which is a lot better than what we had. But we Beyond all sure the statistics, it. it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Man, that's depressing because it, it got cured. I mean, in in our canon, it got cured. But I guess that's a, a way to beat around the bush if it was cured or not cured. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. <laughs> the Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. And the Krogan it. face I'm looks weird, too. I'm hoping that's in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Where are they? I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Who? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. Oh. I boy. can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the <laughs> first place. It was a mess. Shit never I don't changes. Blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated the station and my clan both need me here what sort of problems have you seen on the nexus situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up <laughs> there's arcs missing some idiots tried to mutiny and take over then more idiots offended my clan so they left and to top it all off the founder of the initiative Jian garson was killed oh okay there's the vital piece of information of why she's not around what happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? 
The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. I like her. If we don't her. get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. I like her. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. I've already died twice. My crew's working on it. Doing great. We've moved the off center to the top of our priority list. Like, seriously, who runs like... It's like the most fucked up wide receiver of all time. All right, let's figure out what the Solarians got to say. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Oh, lucky me. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. But you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Don't have any other Placing ones. bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Yeah, fuck you, dude. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, Maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. <laughs> Where's my ship? Imposter syndrome They're everywhere. prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for Eos will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC me and Sam note on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Earn scouting planets and defeating threats. Okay, speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well. Although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain. But tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? And the, the Solarian voice, maybe it's the way the, the Morden voice actor did it, because... It's like slow and deliberate, and Morden was very quick, very choppy. Had quick statements, then went to the next one. Mm. I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. 
I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all <laughs> seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. <laughs> so, you're an accountant? <laughs> Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. Oh, when man. I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. Yeah, the slow the slow speak is, is killing me. Because anytime I'm thinking of the other Solarians, or like e even the uh God, I forget his name. Uh but I'm Vermeyer, uh hold the line guy. Even he talked quicker than this. Let's talk about the planets. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Oh, no also, shit. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Great. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. Whoa. And the Solarian, my kind, tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Not Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly? I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The scourge killed <laughs> hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. How did Gian Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. Damn. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Okay, that's depressing. Jan Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. That is absolutely depressing. Candrus mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. 
We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined I'm sure them. there's more to that Misguided story. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen. Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in oh. political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Yeah, well, you deserve that. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the Initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Speak with scientists. Over... And why, why do I have to double tap escape? That's silly. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Ah, ah. Alright, Raw. See, it's like. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like half the body doesn't fit the other half. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Right, the face, face. My arms awesome. got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening, but not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Why? What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. Look, we can I've do more than that, I've scanned all the potential bud. sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Nope, never sleep. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure. Sure thing. All what the can quests, I do? why not? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. All right, you got it, bud. Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel.
demarcation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Did I go to the wrong spot? Sure did. Should be able to hit M, and it just works. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. Everything everywhere right now. Trans technicians, please report to the Hyperion company. You're in the forest? What district? Most. And I. The map and navigation sucks too. Not a bit. Good you got out before screwing up then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, and, and God, this sucks. Be aware of any suspicious activity. Security is on heightened alert. But the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue like quick? You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick, my colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop, uh, lab, you know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? There's a little bit quicker there. Did he just sprint? Oh gosh. Please be advised that Hyperion Hi, Pathfinder. Wanna hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field? And I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Sure. Why not? Anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Scan minerals. Okay. Pathfinder! Those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah. My thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples, but everything catalog, looks I weird. Can finder's fee. Tempted? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings I from a section like of the scourge that was behaving anomalously. Try to make the they Asari haven't reported in for bigger. some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. I'm so... Yeah, 
and wildlife. Sure, okay. Back to the stage and sabotage. Scanning? the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Oh, great. So how do I get back to Hyperion? Oh, okay, I know. I go, I go down here and then I go through the damn doors. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. <laughs> and Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? What was Addison? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. Oh, thank you, Cora. I appreciate you're so it. So sweet. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. The they're arms, giving us a ship like... and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still to need to head back to the Ark as long and check as in with need Sam. To be. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Oh, oh Lord. Pathfinder, it's good to see you. Yeah. Word is there's been trouble on the station. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. As soon as we start with outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? Why did you join the initiative? Ah, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? Okay, now I know why the the models are throwing me off because they're all so stiff. The and in their appearance. 
and only the face is doing any kind of movement or reactions. Hey, okay, let's watch. What about your family? I'm an orphan. I My parents am died doing a robotic a stuff. When it was attacked years ago. No siblings. No body I language. Friends, distant relatives behind. But this was something that happened too. in the entire series. So now we're going to take it away. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. I have to go now. See you later. You be careful out there. Even, even writers the same way. There's, there's no body language. And that was something like... It, it, it was robotic. And it wasn't like... A, a big deal in what they did, but it was something like they still had movement and it, it felt more natural. I think that's the other thing that was throwing me off. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here, I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because Jesus, we both son. figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Right, let's go talk to Sam. So far, I am wholly unimpressed by this. Hello, Scott. Welcome back to Sam Nude. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. Oh, that seems dangerous. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Yeah, don't. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious. Like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. So you're an AI. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Really? That's... Pretty amazing. Okay, but that wasn't my reaction. Accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? Who I knows? find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Okay. Oh, so I can pick a profile. Um...
Oh, it's locked. Okay. I mean, so I gotta invest. Okay, so let's see. I got three more points, so I've already done three of biotics. I want to be okay. So let's. Throws a grenade. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh. Mm. To pro events, weapon heat. Let's do an assault rifle. Ooh, accurate. Uh, all right, there we go. There we go. Now I got the Vanguard profile. Yeah, let's do Nova. Got one more. Let's do that. No. Ah. Oh. F. Father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Of course, the Aquaturians were the enemy. Crazy times. Just pick up a Normandy thing? Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. The coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Can I read them? That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. 
I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Well, that's sad. Oh, you knew Liara. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. Well, hello! I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. It's nice to hear a familiar I am voice. I'm not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. So there was nothing there. Besides... Oh, wait. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's this these moments when you depressing. wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. <laughs> Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. That log is not currently accessible. Uh, Unlocking my memory array may enable it. All right, I'm going to take another quick break. Okay. Keep exploring things. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Okay, it kind of sucks that they're not involving, like, any lore at all from the previous games. Pride of family secrets. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. 
There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. Okay, this is... I'm sorry, Alec. Weird. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Did he do the Andromeda Initiative just to create the Sam? <sighs> Alec? Alec, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. So, this hunt for wow. AI. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was wants to stop him, mom. To, to keep him... To keep her alive. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. The yeah, dad and the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. Yeah, thank a you. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. Yeah, you're in my brain. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support So everybody had this tools. in their brains. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How do oh, I get hey, Rich, how are you doing? Were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other Welcome Sam's to the, the weirdness However, that I am getting involved with right now. Routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. That's all for now. Of course. So far, the story has potential. I hate just about everything they've done with the design. <laughs> like the actual execution of the character design, everything's very robotic and, and stiff, and the combat feels like it's taken a step back early on. As well as navigation. You have this, like, very awkward, this is not how a human runs. Did I, and did I go behind? So I'm, I'm still getting used to everything, to say the least. So I do have a question with you. How did you end up 
going with the greetings program. I, I think that's it. It's a cool bit, but I'm wondering how that originated. We're going back the opposite direction now. Mission wall. I don't know where we're going. Oh, it's bright. I'll make it right, Dash. I promise. Who are you? I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. Oh, you go to sleep for 600 years like, hey, by the way, your little brother's dead. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who All right. That makes sense. Together. With Tron. Okay. I have a pendant to our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you reunite them? Of course. Tron is indeed a solid journal, flick. He mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Sure, we'll, we'll go mess with pendants. Why not? Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. Here, here's one of the things that's driving me nuts. Save him. Everybody will stay stiff the entire time, but their mouths will keep moving, and they won't communicate like a normal human being. It will just be like this the whole time. Their heads will move, and their mouths will move. I haven't heard how uh. he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the only part that matters. Oh, he shrugged his shoulders. That's new. Pathfinder. Well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go. Taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah. Sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. No, I, and that's the thing. Like, the the previous trilogies, they, they had them. I mean, it was robotic motions, but they had actual motions going with it. So it's like they enhanced one thing and then forgot about the rest of it. How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! Circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another writer. Yeah, my dad already died. Keep my sister alive. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? <laughs> I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. It just sounds like every so job. Coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. <laughs> God. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. Hey, you feel both now. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it exactly. was at seven. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning in the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. Deal. Okay. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. I have a feeling Sarah's not waking up throughout this entire game. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. Just glad to be on the other side of it. That looks like stuff from Satisfactory. Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. Oh, wait, we already, welcome we already you to did a whole this. New galaxy. Okay. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. <laughs> Do you realize you're dead? Oh, there is more stuff. Okay. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. 
Arc Parchero, the Salarian vessel, confirmed departure in <laughs> right? 185. The Asari ship, Arc Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Arc Natanis, embarking and in And we have no idea where any of them are. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is That's led been by a pretty much this entire... Species. I'm trying to the figure out what the hell's going on. Assigned to Arc Hyperion is Scott Ryder. That's me. The selection process saw the Andromeda uh. Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. And none of them are habitable. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or golden worlds. Okay, that the one we, we already was, saw. Now you... uh, oh, well, whatever. All right, where am I now? Okay, information wall. Let's go back there. Oh, God, why is it so bright? We're dodging weaving. This just cracks me up. This is not how hips move. Like, they couldn't have made him more robotic. What were they thinking? Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? Your final check's looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Time to actually go to a planet now. These four ambient synth played, yeah. Everything has felt very not Mass Effect right now. Let's go take a closer look. And, and let's this pick is, it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. This is the default Scott Ryder look. Dude needs a shave. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Who are you? Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. Oh yeah, I can feel your emotion coming through right now. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. <laughs> what an awkward dismount. What the hell? Everything's state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. 
who runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Both of these are very weird options. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. You gonna give me another joker? So I think this one again is a remake. Make for fun of making movies. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Yeah, it's... And, and, and that's where I'm, I'm trying to figure out what what exactly they were doing here. And it's early, obviously. But it definitely feels disjointed. No calls available. Meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. Okay. Why can't I move? Why? Oh, that's. It's accidentally hit a console button. Okay. That needs to not be a thing. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Okay, I guess that'll be useful later. Because I can't interact with anything right now. Some serious kill over here. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Liam. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. Hey, it's the first Solarian that talks like a Solarian. Hello, Jeff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. The lighting is awful. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? <laughs> Thanks, Reg. Good to see you. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. <laughs> those are my options? There we go. They seem bad. But we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. You know it. I know it. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, <laughs> prepping to depart. Oh, my camera did freeze, oh goodness. I need a, a new update for uh, the face cam. Keeps doing this. 